calling them insurgents. Yeah, yeah. Those were the ones that we felt were agitating for something. Yeah. But it's gone beyond that now into uh, full-blown terrorism. So who are we actually talking about when we say armed groups in Nigeria? Prince Chilaka. <laughs> You know, I keep saying that um, it looks as if uh, some of our leaders are suffering from amnesia. Um, when they're there in power, they, they seem to lose, they lose control. They, they, they become detached from reality. They become detached from the people. And the moment they get out of power, they begin to reason like every other human being. Mm. They begin to see the pains of the ordinary man, the pains of the man who has no house to sleep in, the man who sleeps under the bridge. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I wouldn't say that I'm surprised um, Boruta is saying all of this. Um, I, I'm expecting very soon he will retire to go and contest election to be a governor. Mm -hmm. You know, that is, that is what he's working at. Uh, so he's, he's trying to find a way to become a politician, mm -hmm. but he doesn't understand how to go about it. Um, when you say negotiate, you know, I'm asking, the first question I would also ask you is who are you negotiating with? Who has actually come out? We saw what happened in a war. Yeah. Those who perpetrated the crime have not owned up. Nobody has said this group is responsible. Only mm -hmm. the federal government is telling us this is the group responsible. Mm -hmm. How did they know? Except the group contacted them to tell them that we are responsible. And I keep saying that the problem this government has had right from inception is communication. The government does not know how to communicate to the people. The government does not realize that power belongs to the people. Mm -hmm. And you need to carry the people along. You need to tell the people in details what you're doing. You know, yesterday night I, I, I was watching this movie, uh, uh, is it five or seven days in Antibra or so? Okay. You know, mm. where the Israelis had to go in to okay, rescue. Yeah, Antibra. In Antibra, yes. They had okay. to go in to, mm. arrest, to rescue mm. their, their citizens. And, you know, I saw a prime minister taking one of the most terrifying decision anybody can take. Mm. But he didn't take that decision alone. Yeah. He took that decision collectively with his cabinet and the people. Decisions in this country are taken without even taking into cognizance those who go out under the rain, under the sun, to vote them into power. So as far as I'm concerned, I, you know, when, when, when a man like Brutai opens his mouth and says, government should negotiate, why did he not opt for negotiation when he was the chief of army staff? Mm -hmm. Why did he not do that? Hmm. I could remember in one of his comments, <clears throat> he was also one of those who criticized Gumi, that Gumi was interfering in intelligence. So this whole thing about um, insurgents, call them whatever name you want to call them, we all know, the late Abacha said it, and I think it's a normal thing, you know, as security experts should know, that if terrorism or whatever crime, whatever happens in a country goes beyond 24 hours, 48, yeah, 48, hours. 48, hours, 48 hours, as the government knows, mm -hmm. 